Okay, welcome back. We are going to do the, um, I'm going to do the headlights and the uh, fog lights, get those ready. Um, the, um, then I am going to, um, we have a carburetor that's leaking, so it's just easy for me to take it off the bike. Um, and, um, but let me get going with this. I need to change a connector on this headlight. So, it does not fit the hole and so I've cut the wire and the high beam and low beam plug in right in the front of this distribution panel and I'll try to get you in on a closer look. And So, this is the indicator signal for where the, um, for the high beam. So, the indicator signal, so when you have high beam on, it gets power from here. Because power going in behind it is for um, uh, high beam and then low beam. And so, we are going to plug in high beam. You see, that's a crazy sloppy connection. I'm going to change that too. Let me see how tight the low beam is. Yeah, low beam is fine. Nah, well. I mean, low beam could be tighter. I really like it a tight joint. So let's spread this out a little bit. There we go. That's nice and tight, really. Let's see if I can spread this one out. I'm going to really just cut that and put a new one on. It just does not seem... doesn't really seem tight enough. So this is
Yeah, it just doesn't seem tight. There we go. And so, then the last thing is to install the ground, which I've already got it wired, and I'm putting it on this top screw right here. Let's see if it works. Okay, so. There's low beam. Low beam, I'm sorry, that is high beam. There's low beam, high beam, low beam, lights are off. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to route the wire for the horn. And so that's really the last thing I need to do inside there, I think. Um, and well. We have two, um, we have two wires for the horn. We have to connect this, we have to drop this ground out of here, and then we have to connect a power line. So, this should be long enough. And, actually need black wire and that's not black wire so looks black enough to me so Okay, so that's good. And so one wire is going to be connected to this ground. The switch is a negative is a negative switch, so it connects the negative, and then I'm going to connect the power um, down below, and so. 
Now, the wiring diagram shows it. Let me take a look. The wiring diagram shows it being attached up here to the second. And I really don't want that. I would prefer to have it on the bottom one because at that point it's a fused. So let's do that. Um, boy, I don't know why they would do it like that. Um, because you, why have a separate fuse in there if you don't need it? Um, and let me get a couple terminals. So, first terminal is the um, dual ring terminal for the uh, connection. So that is going right in there. And we are doing a so let me feed these wires through here. And so these two wires will connect with the horn. So let's, let me do this one first. So I've already trimmed it up. This slides in this little slot right here. I know it's hard to see. It goes right in this little slot. Oh, I guess it helps if I put it through the, uh, the side that has a hole in it. So when you hit the, um, when you push the, uh, horn switch, 
it provides ground here that jumps over here and provides ground to the horn. So for the next connection, it is to the, um, Well, this could be a hard one. Gosh. I need to find my magnet. Get my magnet on a stick. I'm going to try a different headlamp too.
Another indispensable tool is that magnet on a stick. I am telling you, it is so... I mean, it's within a second. It's, it has it. And again, this should be on the top one, but it's unfused. So, and they have it, so it's an inline fuse, but I have that extra, extra spot, so I'm just gonna put it right there. And I'm going to put a 15 amp fuse for that. And so. So I have the horn here and this is what the horn looks like. It's the original horn. I have to put two connectors on top. So these are little circle, they're little rings that are the connectors for the horn. Let's install those. Putting just a, a vinyl sleeve on it. Mm. 
And let's install the horn. Let's see if that actually works to begin with. It works. I dropped a little screw and I put it in a tray and it is not in this tray. That is actually insanely awful. And This is an M2. It doesn't, it's kind of sloppy. I think it's an M3.
and I may have an M3. I have spare horns, but every spare horn I have does not have one of those little bolts on it. No. Okay, so I have, I may have one right here. That is it. Oh my gosh. That is insane that I had one. <laughs> okay. That, that lamp is really kind of awful. It always is falling. Okay, so... Next step is mounting this horn. So, this calls for some M6s. Good. That's good.
Oh my god. Here's the thing. This thing has to mount in these two little holes. The normal one mounts in that big hole, but this one doesn't. <laughs> 